That's our guy. You have to be cautious when boarding boats or checking fishermen because oftentimes they have tools that are used for fishing that could also be used as a weapon, such as knives, gaffs, or clubs. How are we doing today, guys? How's fishing? Good? So Department of Fish and Wildlife, please, we can pull alongside and do a quick check. License, gear, and catch. How many uh, fish you guys got on board? Four, I think. Four? Five? OK. All right on, you guys got your licenses and stuff? Yeah. You need to sign your license, man. I didn't sign it. I yeah. got it over the internet, I forgot. That's all right. I got a pen up here I can take care of it. It's all right. No problem. What time do you guys get started? Uh, time we get started? Yeah. It's early. Yeah. Been going all day, but I took a break, and then things started picking up for us. OK. So this is all the fish you guys have caught today? Yeah. Oh, it's three sea bass and a ling dog. That's a long day, three sea bass and a ling. Here's the deal, guys. Uh, we've got people at Snow Creek, right? Uh -huh. So we know about the fish from earlier that okay. you guys have already filleted out and caught. How many did you fillet out? A one ling dog and then uh, a few sea bass. A few? Yeah. How many is a few? Like a 10. Like 10? Yeah. Why aren't you guys telling us about those ones? I got no reason. Got no reason? OK. Yeah. Sure it isn't more like 16? Five and 16. I, I don't know. OK. Um, what we're going to do, we're going to go back to camp, OK? Yeah. We'll go back and get a count, at least so we know what we have there, OK? So, so we questioned them, uh, and we uh, gave them repeated opportunities to come clean about the fish that they'd already brought in. I specifically asked them if they'd caught any other fish today, and they said no. For us, that's, you know, clear deception, and the only real reason you'd want to be deceptive about fish you've already caught today is so you can catch more than what the daily limit is, in my mind, so. So we're just pulling in here to an area called Snow Creek. Officer Dillman's going to accompany uh, the three men back up to the camper or trailer or whatever, get an accurate count of how many fish they have from earlier. So I'm going to stay with the boat. Do you want to meet up with 193 as he's walking them up? We're all clean. These three, we had our limit earlier. We'll go up and you can go through our stuff. OK. These three are over limit. But we only had one day, Todd. OK. Um, so we did. We had a bad day yesterday. Right. We kind of make up for it. It's our one trip. Kind of get me. OK. So he just kind of came clean and let us know that they had already limited out earlier. He explained that he knew better and that they had a rough day yesterday and they were just trying to make up for it today. So, um, but as they're going to find out, that's it's not worth it. This does not make you the Charles Mansons of the sea. Okay, you made a mistake. You seized upon a you know a moment of weakness, and and here we are. All right, these fish slow growing, slow reproducing. You can't just hammer them and then expect them to be here next year, right? So everybody's got to behave themselves. And we factor in things like bad fishing days. So just because you didn't get them all one day doesn't mean you get to try to double up the next. Cool? Yeah. They know that, that they were wrong. I think that they're um, embarrassed. I think that they feel uh, bad that they use wrong judgment call and put themselves in this position. And now they have to pay for that lack of judgment. They're not bad guys. And I think that that's pretty telltale with respect to how they're taking it. If you can take a ticket with class, these guys pulled that off.